It doesn't matter what religion you are or what belief you have, if you believe in God or you don't believe in God. It doesn't change the fact that your body is a temple and that your body is the temple of God. Now, most people look for things outside, the external things in this life, and they connect those things to believe in that that is their relationship with God. Whenever the whole time, everything is taking place inside this temple. Now, as the title implies, this video is about the veil of that temple. And that veil is within and separates you as you know you, regular, natural, born into this world you, separates you from Christ in you, as long as that veil is up. The veil in Moses was removed to such an extent that God began to just physically manifest out of his body, and all the people that looked at him could see it, and he had to cover himself up because they were too afraid to even look at him, or they were too freaked out. So he had to cover himself up so that they couldn't even look at what their future could have been. And they just kept their veil on their mind, never going on over into that part of the temple, not being able to. And the temple of old, the first temple that was built, the physical temple, had all of the little details built into it that could show you everything of yourself and of this relationship that takes place inside us between you and Christ within you. Only certain people could go into the holiest of holy. Those people were selected, trained, prepared, however their order was of a priest. And it's really no different today because to cross over from that part of your temple to the other part, I'm using directions here it's not really a matter of location of this side or that side you still have to be prepared and you still have to be able to walk into that holy place kind of maybe a bad analogy to walk in but it's something you can't do unless you are ready to do it after jesus was crucified the story reads that the veil of the temple was torn from top to bottom the invisible God speaking to the people who could only use their physical senses to try to communicate what's going on. But as with everything, it cannot be observed and understood with the physical. So even if they seen that veil rip from top to bottom miraculously, you still ain't going to get it unless you see it. For those who speak in terms of leveling up in this life, there are people that actually have a belief of leveling up. I'll relate it to you like this. There's only one level, and that level is the removing of that veil, one level. If you've done that level up, you have already won the game. However, once you have leveled up, as I'm saying, to remove the veil, you and Christ becoming one in yourself, with him, however you want to understand that. It doesn't matter how far you go. You can go as far and as deep as you want that he can take you that you're able to go. But if you've just gone level one, you've won the game, there's nothing more to really do unless you want to do more. Then it turns into just how far do you want to go? You want to go to level one million? You can if you're able. But there are no levels, oh, I'm level one, now I'm this, now I'm level two, and I'm this, and I'm level three, and I'm this, blah, blah, blah. Winning the game is all that anybody is really trying to do. And if you've gone level one, you win. Now, there are people in this life who really believe they are somehow leveling up in their game by doing rituals, sacrifices, spells, potions, name your poison, name your voodoo, dark power, dark magic side of it. They really believe they're leveling up by these things. There's no external anything that you need to level up. Everything you've ever needed, you've had since you were born. I think I've said that before, but I just said it again. Some may think that what I eat is black magic or dark power or silliness like that. It's not. 
All it is, strictly, is just good temple maintenance. This body, well, it's my location on this earth, but it really has nothing to do with what's going on inside. The better this, this temple, this body operates, the easier life's going to be, the smoother life's going to be. What's outside will always give you trouble, no matter what, especially if the veil's been removed. Because every action you do from that point on will not be understood by anybody out there that's still blind and veil bound. Understanding simple, simple things makes this life so much easier. But in the same way, people that don't understand will always look at you like a monster or evil because they don't understand really anything. All they understand is the physical and what the physical has taught them and the people have taught them. Not really having a God awakened in their mind or understanding who they really are. So that's where troubles and perplexities and persecutions and all that fun stuff comes from. Just the physical people not understanding a spiritual being in a physical body. And just a little disclaimer to any of the Bible readers out there who may be watching these videos that I'm making. Look, I read the same book you read, front to back. The same Bible. And if you think that I'm getting my information from another book, I'm not. The same information that you read, if you're a reader, I get it from the same book. The thing is, I don't understand it like other people understand it because I'm not on that level no more. I'm not on this physical bound level. Not trying to be Mr. Big Shot, but that's just the way it is. If you if you understand the veil being removed, you're not going to understand anything like you used to. It's all going to become new. Then you can begin to understand that you never even needed a book. We're done. Thanks for watching.